Hey YouTubers! So a question I get asked quite often is, how do I determine the wavelength or the exact numerical color of my laser? Well, it turns out it's really easy, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. And the, uh, the only parts you'll need are, of course, the laser that you want to determine the wavelength of, a uh, typical green laser pointer, and then a uh, simple CD, and then also a tape measure. And uh, those are the only parts you need. So because of light's wave-like properties, it experiences an uh, interference when it goes through a slit that's somewhere near its wavelength. So in this case, the CD is acting as a diffraction grating, and as you can see, it splits up that green laser beam into those dots there. This is the property that we're going to use for this video. Now these properties are governed by the diffraction grating equation, which states that n lambda equals d sine theta. Now don't let this math scare you, it's actually really easy to use. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to use it. So here we can actually visualize this equation, and obviously I have that laser pointing at the CD. So n, which is like the dot number, is, is really easy. So because that's the center dot, that's n equals 0, then that one's n equals 1, and so on. Then uh, lambda is the wavelength, and for this green laser it just happens to be 532 nanometers. Uh, then uh, d, which is the distance between slit on our diffraction grating, which in our case is the CD, we're actually going to have to calculate that for our further experiments. And then uh, theta is simply the angle formed from this triangle between those split beams. And really it's as simple as that. So first we have to figure out what the distance between slits, or D, is in our CD. And we're going to be using a typical green laser pointer, because green laser pointers are what we call DPSS, and their wavelength does not change with temperature like your typical red laser pointer. So now I just measure the distance from the n equals zero dot to the CD, and then the uh, distance between these two dots. So this is the uh, distance between the n equals zero and the n equals one dots, and then this is the distance from the CD to the n equals zero dot. Then I just use some uh, simple right angle trig to figure out that angle of that uh, triangle, and then I just plug into that formula there. And now if you notice, I used 1 for n because it was the first dot, and then the wavelength of the green laser we're using is 532 nanometers, and there it is and just uh, converts in meters. And then I just plug in the angle I found into uh, the sine function there, and then here is my final result for the uh, distance between slits on the CD. So now that we know D in this equation, we can figure out the uh, wavelength of this laser pointer here. So now for this blue laser pointer with the uh, unknown wavelength, I do the same thing that I did with the green laser. I have it pointed at the CD there, and we're just going to take some measurements. So here we use a uh, similar process to earlier to determine the wavelength of this blue laser pointer. So I took those measurements and constructed that triangle, and I uh, used simple trig to find the angle there. And then uh, I simply just plug this into the uh, original equation. And because n equals 1 there, and that's because uh, it's between the n equals 0 and the n equals 1 dots. So to find lambda, the wavelength, I plug it in the equation. I use d that we just found earlier of the CD, and I plug in the angle there. And then I got 476 nanometers, which it actually is it's right on the money for this laser pointer. So that worked really well. And then also because it's pi day, I use the uh, Maclaurin series expansion for the sine function. And uh, of course, I got the same result. So it's really just as easy as that. So instead of using a spectrometer, which is very expensive, uh, to figure out the wavelength of your laser, you can just use a CD. So that's actually pretty cool. And uh, I guess that's it for today's video, but uh, be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.